Mama, let's play a game. Um, okay, what do you want to play? Okay, this game requires quickness. We're going to tell a story, and we're just going to make it up as we go, okay? You force. Okay, um, once upon a time, there was a little girl named Sarah. Sarah was a giant, and she had super big hands. But everyone else around her was smaller, so it kind of made Sarah sad. Sarah did everything in her power to be friends with people, but people were scared of her. She would walk around the city and everybody would just run. Even there was a time that Sarah went up to this little girl and she said, Hi, I'm Sarah. And she just screamed and ran and said, Get away from me, you big giant! And this made Sarah really, really sad. Sarah would just sit in her room and cry and cry and cry for hours because everyone would be so mean to her. And her mom would try to tell her that it's okay to be different. But Sarah didn't want to hear it and she wanted to be just like everyone else around her. And then that's when it happened. Sarah fell asleep and she fell into a deep, deep dream. This little bitty man came walking up to her. He tapped her foot and said, wake up, wake up, wake up. And Sarah woke up in the dream. She didn't know what to do. He said, we're going on a journey. And the little man showed Sarah just how special she was. He gave her a glimpse into her future where she helped people and helped change the world. And then Sarah woke up and she was so happy. She felt like she can do anything and she was ready to accomplish so much. So the next day, Sarah went to school and she walked in with her head up high and she said, hello class. And she smiled and people were just like, is that Sarah? They were whispering all types of things. And she just kept smiling as she walked to her seat. And before you know it, people were coming up to her saying, hey Sarah, and trying to be her friend. And people started to realize just how special Sarah was too. They kept talking about how smart she was, how funny she was, and how they wished they were her friend a long time ago. Sarah taught people to never judge a book by its cover. She also taught people to be kind. You never know what really may hurt somebody's feelings. Sarah was a giant, but that didn't make her a bad person. It just made her different. After school, she couldn't wait to run home and tell her parents about her day. They were so excited to hear about these new changes and all the confidence that their daughter had gained. Sarah was so happy while telling her story that she started passing gas. And they were like, <laughs> her dad asked her, Sarah, is everything okay? She said, yes, daddy, I'm just so happy. And then she couldn't help it. But then she kept going and she even told him how they named her Sarah Longlegs. Then she ran upstairs and started making plans of all the things she was gonna do with her new friends. And then Sarah sat down and realized just how important it is to have confidence and believe in yourself. The next day when Sarah went back to school, everyone was walking on stilts. They were walking around because they wanted to be a giant like Sarah. It made her feel so good to realize that people wanted to be like her too. So not only did she realize that people did like her, but she also realized just how cool she was. Sarah was forever happy and everybody in the school became friends. Yay! That was pretty cool, Coco. I love that. We have to do this more often. Yeah, I am a pretty cool storyteller. <laughs> Time to play collect them all. Gotcha. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Ooh, I love this game. Connect the queen line. Mama. Don't mama me. It's about time you put the phone up and go to bed. I did go to bed. I'm in the bed right now. Coco. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. I love this game. Here, get it, get it, get all. <laughs> Collect them all. What is Coco? Huh? Mama, I'm asleep. Can't be, because I see the light under the sheet. This is your final warning. Oh, oh, stupid phone always getting me in trouble.
Can I play collect them all tomorrow? Good night. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sick of cleaning. All I keep on seeing is the same thing. Oh, I'm so sick of cleaning. All I keep on seeing is the same thing. You almost done, Coco? Just about. All right, I'll meet you in the living room. Oh, you don't want to help me. Never mind. I have an idea. Okay, my mama, we can go now. You're finished already? Are you sure? No, let me go see. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble With pretty pigtails and a smile that makes 